All right, welcome back to the next video in the mini golf tutorial series here in Construct 3. In the last video, we began setting up our player controls. In this video, we are going to continue with getting those set up the rest of the way. When we play our game and I set my angle and I swing, then when it stops, it just sits there. The aim still shoots the same way we left it. We can change it again, but then it never changes. Okay. One of the other things is that when I shoot, I can still drag and aim. So I want to be able to uh, stop that from happening as well. I'm going to get started on that and let's add an event. Go to our ball object. Now scroll down to physics and I want is sleeping. Now when you click on something up here it tells you a brief description of what it is or does. And is sleeping is true if the physics object has become inactive or is no longer requiring processing. Basically, if it has stopped moving, which is what we want. So I'm going to select is sleeping. And when it is sleeping, I'm going to reset the angle. And to do that, I'm actually going to take this expression right here that we used up here. I'm going to highlight it, hold down control and hit C on the keyboard. That copies it. And then I can come down here and click on this and hit control V to paste it. So that says when it stops moving, it will set the aim towards the hole, just like we did with the button reset. Play that, I'll aim it, and I've already run into a problem. I can't aim it any longer because it is sleeping. The ball's not moving, so it is running that condition. So I need to give it another condition. So this is aiming. We've set it to uh, zero lets us aim, and one means that we've already set the aim. So I'm going to say that once we have uh, hit our swing button, that we are going to change it to yet another number, and that number is going to be two, because I need another condition here. So I'm going to go in here and change this one to set it to two. That way, that means it's in play. So we can come down here and double click on this and go to our aim object. Go down to our compare instance variable. Is aiming is two. So now we have, if it's zero and we're in touch, we can aim the, uh, the aiming line. Then once we end the touch, it sets it to 1, which means we can either hit the reset button or the swing button. And each one of them does something different. The reset button will reset it to 0, and we can go fulfill this condition again. But if we hit the swing button instead, it will set it to 2, which means we can fulfill this condition. Now let's go to the debug to make sure and pick our aim object, and then I want to see is aiming. Let's go to the watch. So I click, I drag, I aim, I let go, it changes to one. I hit swing, it changes to two. And if we go back, okay, see, this is, oh, there, it did it. It stopped moving. Okay, let's do that again. Uh, oh, you know what we didn't do? We didn't reset the variable because everything worked except now I can't aim it again. So if I hit, what if I hit reset? Nope. Oh, okay. So in here we have to go ahead and set it to zero again. So I'm going to just copy this set is aiming to zero. I'm going to control C to copy and come down here, control V to paste. So now if we go into our debug. And we, I want the aim. I want to know, since the aim is attached to the ball, it will show us our x and y value of the ball as well. So I'm going to watch these as well. So now I have the instance variable and the x and y value. 
So I'm going to aim it, it changes to one. I'm gonna swing, it changes to two. And now you can see the ball is moving. Even when it gets really slow and it doesn't look like it's moving, it's barely moving fractions. But we set it back to zero, so now I can move again. Let go, it goes to one. Swing, it goes to two. It stops moving and it will go to zero. All right, so let's test a couple other things. Let's say I'm aiming it and I swing. I can't move uh, the aim anymore. That's good until it lands and changes the instance variable, but it actually did because uh, I said up here on any touch end to set it to aiming. So uh, this is really easy and one of the reasons that I put all of these in different groups and then put all three of those into one main group is because of this little maneuver right here. When we shoot it, we want to say uh, nothing that the user or the player does uh, will take effect. So down here, I'm going to go ahead and create a group for this. So add group, let's call this one moving. And I'm going to slide this one right into that moving group. I'm going to add an event to moving. That's this group. So add an event to moving. And I'm going to pick a sprite ball so that I can get its physics and go down to physics. And I'm going to say uh, is sleeping. But I want to say when it's moving, so I'm going to invert it. We can right click and choose invert. So now it's saying when it is not sleeping, which means it's moving, I'm going to add an action, go to system and just type in group. And I'm going to say set group active. And we are going to say this is group, uh, nope, group, what I call that player control. There it is. It shows up. So in parentheses, you want parentheses, player control in parentheses, and then we want to say deactivate it and say done. Whenever it is sleeping and our aiming is two. So whenever it is sleeping, we want to activate this. So I am going to do the same thing. Say add action system group, set group active. I could have just copied this. That's okay. Uh, player control and activated. And I'm going to move that above setting the aiming to zero. All right. When it is sleeping, when the ball's not moving, we have control. All of this code can run as long as it meets its conditions. But whenever it is moving, we have no control. So let's play that. All right. And I'm deactivated. <laughs> so let's go ahead and come up here to the start of layout. Uh, or the, yeah, initialize, start a layout, add an action, uh, system, group, Let's say player control activated. All right, will that help us out? No, uh, I'm also going to add an action, uh, sprites, aim. I'm gonna go down to the set value, set instance variable value and make sure our aiming is set to zero. Does that help us? No, what's happening? Oh, uh, when the ball is sleeping, we have no control. So we need to make sure that this condition is also being met. So I'm going to highlight that, control C to copy, and then uh, click on this event and control V to paste. And I'll slide that to the bottom. So neither one of these conditions can take place unless is aiming is set to two, which is only done by swinging which uh, hitting the swing button, which means the ball is moving. Okay. See, you just got to work it out. <laughs> Sometimes it takes longer than others. So we can move, we can aim, I let go, I swing, and now I can do nothing. I can press on the buttons, I can drag, nothing happens until it stops, it resets, and now I can do all the things again. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, does my reset. Okay, 
Uh, yeah, I can reset it. All right, good to go. Uh, I think that I am going to end this video there. We worked through a few problems and I want to get into making the meter decide how strong we swing. So I will see you in the next video and don't forget to save.